And here's Paul Lee, who's qualified for his first race day start in his 12th try. He will go up against Matt Hagen. Well, Paul Lee's got a tough customer in that out of the lane. Matt Hagen looked very good in qualifying. He was uh, the number one qualifier up until the la very last run when John was able to take it away from him with Matt in the other lane. Matt was low of the first two sessions. Remember, we only had three here because of rain yesterday. We only got one session on Saturday. And Matt spun the tires in that final session. But boy, that car looked really good going into that final session. Oh! oh. Well, Paulie has trouble early, and uh, then you saw the blowout panel go off of Hagen's car. He takes the win anyway with a 430, 216 miles an hour. Wonder what happened, though. Yeah, I mean, it backfired the supercharger, well, and you see a lot of extinguishers. Yeah. Extinguishers off by a lot of fluid out of there. It might have just uh, blew the engine up at that point because it backfired and deployed all the systems. He had a very good run going up uh, up until that point. Watch the right side of your screen. Let's see if we can see if it spun the tires or if it just. No, I don't see any tire spin because a lot of times if it spins the tires, it'll mix the cylinders up and backfire the supercharger. Something internally could have happened. It could have broken the intake valve. When that happens, it'll fire the fuel inside the the manifold and then cause that thing to backfire up. The crew will go back and look at it. Hopefully, you know, if it's a mechanical problem, the tune-up looked like it was pretty good. I don't think there was a problem with the tune-up. It was going down the racetrack, so if it was a mechanical problem, they'll just fix that and bring it back and run her again. Let's show you now, as we've gotten uh, quite a few cars down the track, the wins by lane. Look at there. I'm going for the right lane, Mike. I don't know why. Well, they're both lane choices take in that lane. So sometimes that's deceiving. The better cars are obviously, or the higher qualified cars will take that lane if they have lane choice.